something that I trust that is it I will start with the song. He has promised he will never fear, never fear. I will honor him, I will adore him. He has promised he will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. I want to start with the prophetic word of knowledge, August for 2024. I stick with that, like I will see if it's reasonable. Any other person will cost you more. Actually, it's very easy to trust in something else other than God. If you come from a nation that you regard as powerful, or you have a powerful military, or your technology is cutting edge, or you come from a you know, well-to-do family, or even some of your past achievements can actually be things that you can trust on. But all of, all of those things will fail. I mean, there are so many lessons in history. So it's only God that we should put our trust in. And this is captured in Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help, who rely on horses, who trust in the multitude of their chariots and in the great strength of their horsemen. But do not look to the only one of Israel or seek help from the Lord. Even if we are prepared, you know, we have we are the best in any particular thing, don't put your trust in that. I mean, so so we have so many lessons from history where the greatest armies have failed and the ones that were actually the underdog came out on top. So no matter what it is, no matter your level of preparation or whatever it is that you think is in your arsenal, just commit everything into the into the hands of God so that God can actually be on your side and the victory can then be certain. Nothing else is certain to give that victory and breakthrough that we require.